Great, so now we can see that we can access the value of the filter text. What we want to do though is not just display that value here, but we want to be able to filter out any name that does not match the current value here. I'll just start by removing our console log in our app here. And let's do a bit of work on our names list component. I can remove this demo filter text value here. One thing I like to do always at the top of a random method is grab all the different properties. So we have data and now we have filter text. So we can access them with a single variable name. Here we can see that we have a name list constant that we use to output the list of names. It simply maps through each name in our data and return that. So what we want to do What we want to do before actually returning every item is filter out these names. And uh, the array prototype in JavaScript has another great method for that, which is called filter. And filter basically also goes through each index of an array. And depending if the condition you write returns true or false, will keep or filter out each index. So in our context, if we write a condition that checks if the filter text is present in the name of the current array index, then return true, it means keep it. If this filter text string is not there, return false and it'll just filter out. Technically this should do exactly what we want. Only keep and display an li element for names that are matching the current filter text. We can change this method, which is a great thing. So I will start by filtering our name. So you can see we have uh, data and we filter it and then we map through it, which is a nice way to chain methods. So let's write this condition. What we want is remove names that do not match current filter text. So let's try that. Let's return name that name and we'll try index of filter text. And we want it to be greater or equal to zero. Let's try it and I'll explain you why. Index of will look for the filter text value and see if it's an index of the array. And uh, by default, if it doesn't find a match, it will return minus one. So if we check that it's greater or equal to zero, anything but minus one, that means that the actual name will be in the array. As we can see, if we type Matilda, it seems to work. Now there's a little problem with that technique is if we search for Matilda with the lower case, it's actually not an exact match, which is probably not what we want. A workaround here is to use the two lower case on both the name and the filter text, and it would just shrink everything to lower case, so we don't have to worry about this character uppercase lowercase mismatch. Now if I search for ma tilde or ma tilde, it'll work. Excellent. So to recap, we want to return an li element for each name that is currently matching the search string. The way we do this is we use the filter method on our data and we filter out by removing all the names that return minus one when checking index of on them. In other words, if the current string that is typed in the input is not findable in a person's name, this name is out, gone. And just like that, we have our search filter working. 
I just want to go ahead and do some refactoring here and change our class component into a stateless functional component. I will change this to export default and just return a function. Stateless components do not have a render method. So I'll go ahead and remove this and unindent everything from one level. If you want to access props in a stateless functional component, you need to pass them as arguments in the function. Inside curly braces, we're going to pass data and filter text, which pretty much is what this line does. It grabs these props and makes them available. So we can delete that. So we export that function. We filter through a name, return names, and then do a return statement. And it's, it should still work exactly the same. Let's just verify. Oops, we've got an error. Name list is not defined. Of course, I forgot to remove the export because now we are exporting here. So we don't want to, and our, our actual function doesn't have a named name list. So let's save it again, and that should now work properly. Let's try Kai. Beautiful. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Next thing we'll tackle is whenever we click on the name, we want to add it to the shortlist. Let's do that next. Mm -hmm.